Hello, lovely humans. Oh god, wrong channel. Hi, this is Gigi from Strawberry Sensor. If you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, it's because I'm going to take some photos to send to my friend as a favor for his Halloween showcase. So I think it's 31 days of spooky, cool content. Definitely check him out. Leave his info right here if you want to see the finished product of this. He does really awesome photo manipulation and he's going to make me into an actual ghost, which is really cool. Uh, but seeing as he lives in New York and I live in California, we're trying to make it work. So anyway. And today I'm going to be reviewing some contact lenses from the brand... So uh, this brand. Don't know why they named themselves that because that's the least catchy name ever. Can someone explain this to me? It better not be something really obvious and I'll just be like, oh, duh. So this is not sponsored. I think that's what it means, right? They just send you products and you can review them. So I'm not being paid to say anything positive about this item. So whatever I think about this item will be my 100% honest review. So I chose to review the Real Crystal in Plano. So that means zero prescription in each eye, even though I do have a little bit of a problem seeing, but you know, overseas prescription issues. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop some info about these contact lenses right here for you guys to read. So I am filming in front of natural light and I have brown Asian eyes like I mean they're, they're brown yeah I would say that they're brown they're not like super dark and black or anything get you a little closer okay, hello alrighty so as you can see here are my eyes ooh they feel very very jelly okay let's pop them in oh there you go so you see natural eye and contact eye. Natural eye, contact eye. Sideways, sideways. Sideways, sideways. Go in there, damn it. And there you see contact eyes. Shifty eyes. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? So, right off the bat, I noticed that these are super comfortable. They feel like jelly in my eyes. So for comfort, I would probably give it about a 10 out of 10. Would recommend. This is something I can probably wear all day long. Well, I mean, I haven't worn it all day long, so I don't know, but just putting it into my eye, I can't really feel them. They feel super hydrated, which is always a plus. So shipping, I would give them a 10 out of 10. Um, one being, oh my god, they forgot to send my order and 10 being wow it got here pretty quick and so I feel like I got mine within two weeks and I know you guys must be like whoa two weeks but keep in mind when you're in the world of purchasing things from Asia two weeks is pretty quick um, a month is standard and I feel like anything over a month I'm like okay it took a bit long especially when the item is only about this big and that's something that you should expect as a consumer when you're purchasing from these websites so if you're someone who doesn't like waiting for their items or you need something right away I do not recommend purchasing from any stores from Asia because unless they do expedited shipping and you might end up paying a lot of money for it um, it's going to end up being at least two weeks before they get to you. Sometimes less, sometimes more, who knows. Anyway, moving on. So the color. As you can see from earlier, I had pretty dark Asian eyes, and then the color masks it pretty well. The colors, I would give it 8 out of 10, just because, yes, it looks very, very natural, and it did cover my dark brown eyes. You can't really see my dark brown eyes. However, I did expect them to be a little bit more vibrant. However, this may not be the problem of the actual contact itself, but how it's marketed. So I've seen these contacts on a lot of my friends or other people who gave reviews, and I didn't realize that they might have used a filter or some type of editing app to change the color of them. So I definitely think that these are a little bit more natural than what I expected, um, because I really wanted a bright, icy blue to kind of complement this ghost thing that I'm doing right now. So overall, would I recommend purchasing this item? Yes, I would. I think 28 out of 30, it's not bad at all. Only purchase this if 
you are going to be realistic about the shipping times. It does take a while to come here. If you're someone who is used to that, then there's no problem at all. If you're an American consumer and are used to three to five days of shipping, it might be a little bit of a problem. If you need this item for an event or something like that, I would say order in advance. If not, then be patient. Also, I recommend this for more of a natural wear instead of a costume wear. I originally intended it for a costume wear where I had very bright, obnoxiously loud contacts to kind of give me that spooky effect, but these turned out to be a little bit more natural, which I'm also fine with. This is something that's very comfortable that I can see myself wearing all day long on days where I want to give my eyes a pop. So yes, that is my review. If you guys want to check out I will go ahead and leave that in the description box down below so you guys can check it out. I do not get anything from you clicking on that link. Uh, I just really just got these contacts and now I owe them the video. <laughs> Yay, YouTube! Anyway, if you found this video helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment down below what you think of these contacts and what type of contacts would you like to wear? Do you like purple eyes, green eyes? I don't know. Whatever you want to do. And lastly, subscribe to our channel that we kind of never post on, but you know what? Um, do it anyway. Yes. Okay, bye.